Question for you. Do you hold on to the belief that you could ever be rejected? Because this is really important. There is another way that you can see rejection. A lot of people, my coaching clients, myself included, I've gotten to work a lot with this. A lot of my close friends, we have these conversations. And inside there is something inside of you that has decided that you could actually be rejected. Hmm. There's actually another way that you can look at this. Okay, so let me share with you, this is actually a really super personal story. So when I was a teenager, my first love, oh my God, oh my God, I just get like, even I get giddy right now thinking about it. I was so smitten over this man. I mean, was he a man at that point, right? But so anyways, uh, a young man, right? And this little man, whatever. So I was really smitten over him and things went sideways. Let's say that, right? And let's also say that my communication skills and his communication skills were not super uh, awesome. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. And it ended up going sideways with no communication. And, and it was really weird and I didn't really know what happened, but I didn't have the confidence to like talk about it. I didn't have the tools to talk about it. I didn't know how to talk about my emotions. I didn't know how to be vulnerable, all of that stuff. And I was so heartbroken. And for years, and I would even say decades, you guys, I was like so heartbroken and it would just come up over and over that misbelief of rejection, that not a fear of rejection, but the pain of believing that I'd been rejected. And then what happened is this, it was about four years ago, I got together with a mutual friend of ours and we start talking about our high school years again, right? And he was good friends with the my first love. And he started sharing with me about that time in our lives and how my first love had gotten really, really heavily into drugs at that exact time when we had started hanging out and dating and you know, all of that high school romance stuff. And that he got really sucked into the drugs and that that was really hard for my friend. And here I am listening to this because I know that the exact timing was when we started to drift apart and there was no communication about it. And I never really understood what happened. And what I recognized was at that time, that was the exact time that my first love was really getting pulled into the dark web of addiction and of major like hardcore drugs and that his getting pulled into that is what actually pulled us apart and what I started to recognize I like getting all sappy is that actually I wasn't being rejected at all that was spirit protecting me because I didn't get pulled into any of that drama. And it was my angels, call it my angels, call it my guides, call it my higher self, call it God. All of the above is how I always feel is I had my team working for me. And that illusion of rejection, that was protection. That was total protection. And I am so grateful that I actually, my healing got to be me learning how to let go of the illusion of rejection and wake up to how amazing of a person I really am rather than me having been a teenager figuring out how to deal with having a partner who was having a boyfriend who was a drug addict and then possibly like I don't see that that would ever have been my path. I've just always kind of been substance free. I don't think I would have gotten pulled into that, but I didn't even have to deal with it because I was actually being protected. So 
this is one thing I work a lot with my clients on, right? As they come and they're, they're dealing with these um, really deep upsets where you might be believing that you were rejected in your life, right? I had a father that was absentee. My father was actually a drug addict. He was a major meth addict. And so what a repeat of patterns, right? And, and it was God protecting me, not um, dragging me back into that. And the same was with my father. My father actually um, ended up not being in my life from very early on, from the age of seven. And I always thought it was rejection. Well, the truth is it was protection, right? And so I just offer you the opportunity where you can look into your life and look at the circumstances through a different lens. And when you start to see your life through a different lens, you're gonna to start to see the results that you create and the circumstances in your life shift. Not only that, but you're com you'll come more into congruency with who you are and where you're going. So if, I, if you're dealing with rejection, I know how um, painful that can be. And I offer you the opportunity to look at the, at the circumstances through a different lens and maybe that rejection is actually protection for you. And if you have a situation that's really, really hurting, right, and you need some help and you wanna talk through it, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Nikki Hardin. It's N-Y-K-K-I-H-A-R-D-I-N.com. You can go to my website. There's a place you can schedule a call with me there and we'll dive in. We'll check it out. I'll help you maybe look, do some of the deeper healing that's available and then set you up for what it is you want. Okay, make it a great day. That rejection, it's serving you. Check it out.